believe it or not, despite the fact that uh, lakes are so important, we actually don't measure them very often. Lakes are really important because they're integrators of everything that goes on around them. So everything that happens with water in, a, in the entire watershed going into a lake is going to affect what's happening with the water in the lake. And so if we know what's happening to the lake, we can understand what's happening in the watershed around it. We want to develop new ways to understand what's happening uh, on these lakes around the world. And so two different strategies that we're combining here are using uh, people in the local area who care about their lakes in combination with uh, sort of high technology satellites that can make measurements from space. And because the researchers don't live here, our volunteer citizen scientists have access to the gauges and report the information in a very easy manner back to the researchers. One of the things I was impressed with today in the training was just how easy UNC Chapel Hill uh, personnel has made this uh, for the volunteers. All you have to do is uh, at your convenience once a week, uh, every day, every couple of weeks, however often you want. You just go out and uh, we'll give you the location of a gauge and we'll ask you to go and make a reading. It's got all the information on the gauge. You can see that it's level because there's a level gauge on it and you can see the ruler with the, the depths and you just record that information, identify the station and the lake level. And then you can get that information to us in a number of different ways. You can uh, Record it on a log sheet and then uh, fax us the log sheet. You can uh, text us. And then finally, we have a website that uh, you can go to and enter the data that way. Well, I certainly would encourage more volunteers. Uh, uh, as most people that live at Lake Waccamaw uh, acknowledge, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. And I feel an obligation to be involved in the protection of this great place. And that's why I'm here today. We couldn't ever do the kind of work that we're doing without volunteers and citizen scientists as volunteers. So they really lend a lot of manpower to the projects that we're trying to do. Citizen scientists are incredibly valuable because they have the motivation to help understand uh, lakes in their own environment. And it's absolutely integral to this project because we want to know how the volume of water in these lakes is changing and that's the only way we're getting it.